How the brain shapes our sense of self. Ever wondered where that fascinating entity known as I resides in your brain? We all have a sense of being an individual, but what gives us this perception? This question has perplexed scientists and philosophers for centuries. Well, we finally have some exciting news regarding this age-old mystery. Researchers at Stanford have been exploring this very question, using advanced brain imaging techniques and electrical stimulation to peek into the human brain. They discovered a small structure in our brain, called the anterior precuneus or APCU for short, is a key player in forming our sense of physical self or I. The team discovered that APCU leads a system of brain regions. These regions work in sync, and together, they form a comprehensive mental map of our body and space, integrating information about our location, motion, and even muscle and joint positions. All of this contributes to our feeling of I. Interestingly, our sense of self has two sides. The physical self, represented by I, and the narrative self, represented by me. The I is about our immediate physical existence, while me involves our past experiences, our emotions, our feelings for others, and our thoughts about the future. These two aspects are governed by separate networks in our brain that continuously interact with each other. But the real surprise came when the team decided to experimentally disrupt the APCU's activity. When they interfered with APCU, the subjects reported experiencing a shift in their perception of reality. Some felt as if they were floating or falling, while the world around them seemed unreal. It's almost like they stepped into an alternate reality where the rules of physics no longer applied. Stimulating different sides of the APCU triggered opposite emotional responses. When the right side was stimulated, the subjects reported positive emotions. Conversely, when the left side was stimulated, they reported negative emotions. The findings of this study bring us one step closer to understanding the complex mechanisms of human consciousness and self-perception. But, as always in science, each answer brings forth more questions. Like why does stimulating different sides of the APCU have opposite emotional effects? Future research may help answer such questions. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.